Hey everyone, notifications are something that we see every day and today we'll be building a notification system for our React app and you can see that we can place it on different positions on our screens. So where is the Naruto part you ask? So we're gonna make a notification shadow clone style uh, as in Naruto so it appears and disappears with the smoke. You can also see there are four types of notification, the success one, the warning one, the error one and even the information one and you can position it uh, across different positions on the screen like top left right center top right etc so yeah this is what we'll be building from scratch uh, let's get to it all right to start us off i'll be using wheat to create and scaffold our react app so i'm in the wheat's official documentation wheatjs.dev and you can run the following command to scaffold a react app from scratch um, wheat is a build tool that is very efficient compared to a create react app so even the latest react documentation recommends to use wheat back in vs code i have already scaffolded a react app using wheat and uh, made some changes to it uh, to save time we'll be going through that but what you have to do is go to wheat documentation and run this particular command which is npm uh, create wheat latest run that and then it will scaffold a skeleton react app for you after that run npm i to install all the necessary dependencies uh, and create the node modules folder and after that you just have to run uh, npm run dev which will spin up our server and yeah we should be good to go after that in case to save time i've already made some changes uh, the scaffolded app comes with a few template code so i've removed all those and uh, added the necessary code that we need all right to so go over the changes in the public folder i've already added all the assets required by the project now i did this to save time because whatever you add in public folder you don't need to import it in any file and you can just use it with the part directly but keep in mind that whatever you add in here won't undergo the build process so uh, this will be transferred directly when you run npm run build this will just be transferred directly it won't undergo any optimizations or stuff like that then we have main.jsx which is the entry point of our application and finally app.jsx added in six buttons which are these to specify the positions like top left bottom right things like that and on on click of each of this button i have created a function called handle show notification right here which takes in two parameters type and position which are self-explanatory type means the type of notification it could be success warning error or info and position is the position on the screen top right top left center bottom etc and as seen on the screen i have nine of those buttons now inside this handle show notification function based on the type i have a switch case which just sets the title and message for a notification which we'll be building so if it's a success, the title is success and guy is proud for error, no pain, information, 106 centimeters and warning means Orochimaru is here. Also default case. So the way I want to do is, is by creating a function called show notification, which I can call anywhere within my React app, uh, which will show up the notification. This will also take in an object as a parameter, which we can use to set the properties of the notification, like the title, the message, the type of notification, the duration it should be on the screen, the position where it should come up etc now since this should be callable throughout our react application uh, it's evident that we need some form of uh, store or context to uh, manage the entire notification system so we'll be using react's uh, context api for uh, implementing this and along with it uh, we'll be using custom hook that will expose us the show notification function so we'll create a custom hook called uh, use notification which will uh, return us this show notification function that we can use uh, anywhere within our react app like this uh, to show the notification we'll start building the context and uh, start from there first so let me start by creating a new folder uh, called context inside our src folder and inside this i'll create a new file called notification context context.jsx like this and let me create a new uh, react component uh, like this now the idea is to create a provider that can provide us this context and what we'll be doing is we'll be wrapping uh, our entire react app inside of this context provider so that we can access the notification related data throughout let's do that first i'll rename this as a uh, notification provider next up we'll need to create a context so i'll use create context uh, function i'll import it first and then I'll create a context like this and I'll just call the create context function like this. Create context function takes in an initial value of the context and this will return us a context object uh, that has two properties called as provider and consumer. These two are React components essentially. So what we're gonna wanna do is to uh, inside the notification provider component, we will um, first of all create the provider like this by using notification context.provider 
and this uh, is a react component so this one takes in a prop called value which will be the value that uh, we want to pass whatever that may be now the next thing to do is to wrap our app with this notification provider so let me just do that imports it automatically let me just move this uh, up the style like this and um, I will wrap our entire react app like this inside the notification provider so now whatever uh, value we supply here uh, in the value prop uh, that should be available throughout our application uh, because of this notification provider here so that's the idea app which is a component in itself uh, is a child of this notification provider so what we have to do is to accept the children prop like this and then uh, we will just surrender the children like so now we're going to need a list of notifications so i'll use use state here use uh, state and then uh, we will create a state for holding all the notifications like this and the initial value i'll pass in as an empty array like this cons not constant so first things first we'll need a function to add a notification so let's call it uh, add notification and what this does is it will add a new notification to a list of uh, already existing notifications so we'll call set notification function uh, we'll take in the previous notifications already there like this we'll spread out the previous notifications and add the new notification this one will be uh, parameter so we'll add a new notification to our list of notification and we'll also need one to remove one so what we'll do is we'll create a remove notification function just like this and uh, each notification will have an id a unique id for each one and this will be part of the notification object so here we'll do uh, set notifications except the previous notification then we'll have to filter out the one that is not needed so we'll do previous notifications dot filter and that notifications ID should not be equal to the ID that we passed in so pass these as part of value so I'll pass in all the list of notifications the add notification function and the remove notification function this became part of the context and can be accessed anywhere within our app step is to actually create the notifications so if you remember if there are multiple notifications we are stacking them uh, one after the other in any given position we need a container which holds multiple notifications so for each position we'll have a container and then uh, inside those containers we'll map through all the notifications in that particular position and display it one by one so right within our context provider we're going to need three things first is an array of positions and we need a notification container and a component for individual notifications so two components and an array so let's create an array for now we'll just have one position uh, so what we have to do is we'll, we'll map through this array and for each of the position uh, we will return a new react component so this will be uh, let's say notif a notification uh, container we'll create that in a moment let's also create a component folder uh, components and inside here we'll start with the first one so this will be notification container.jsx and we'll also need one for individual notifications so notification.jsx so in both of these places I'll create a new uh, React component and the same name uh, just like this and I'll have to import it obviously on top here so import note container now these are an array of positions and we are mapping over it so first thing first is to give a key so this will be position we can use position for it because it will be unique so this notification contains the entire notifications that is present at a given time in all the positions so we'll only need the notification that is in the current position all the list of notifications that is in this position so we'll again have to filter it out so what we'll do is notifications dot filter and uh, for each of the individual notification uh, we'll only return the ones whose uh, position uh, position property matches our current position let's also pass the position as a prop so we'll just pass in a position like this go back to our container component and accept all this props so now inside this container we'll get all the notifications in this given positions so what we'll have to do is map over this and under the notification comes add a div over here and inside this notifications dot map and for each notification we'll render the uh, notification component so we've added the key as notification dot id and then we'll also pass in the individual notification so notification is as is just notification 
this. Let's go back to a notification component and accept that props of this component. So that will be notification. And from this notification, let's restructure out the properties that we need. So this will be uh, type, uh, title, um, message, duration, the timing let's just display the title title and the um, message so title I'll just give it inside and that's three just so, and for the message I'll use a p tag like this say that so now to test it out I have added like a default value a test value inside our use state uh, so this is what uh, our notification object would look like when the user dispatches the show notification function so it will have a title a message position duration etc so let's see so if you save and refresh and go back you can see that the test notification and testing stuff the title uh, and the message has been displayed here successfully now let's add some styles so we'll start by positioning our notification container uh, in the given position so uh, let me first create uh, CSS module file for clean code let me move all this notification components inside another folder so I've created a new folder and let me just move uh, both of these files in there just like this and VS code also uh, updated my import path so in case if that's missing just make sure you update it now in here let me create a new file I'll call it a notification dot module dot CSS there we go now let's start by adding a style for our top left class and this should be outside the normal document flow so we'll have to use position fixed and since it's the top left we'll also give it a top of zero and a left of zero now let's import it inside our notification container so i'll do import uh, styles styles from uh, css in here let's add a class name styles of position so the idea is that from the notification context the positions that we get when we map over this array of positions that we are passing in here into the notification container and that one will be adding as part of the CSS module so inside the CSS module we've given the same name so top left and in here what we're doing is we're just accessing that uh, using the styles object styles object so let's see if it works so if we go back you can see that the notification now appears on the top left of it now let's quickly do this for all positions also I've added in all the required test data so I've just copy pasted it and just changed the position to let's also add them in the array so there we go I've added all the positions now let's go back to our style sheet and add the, all the classes all of this will be position fixed so there we go I've added all the classes and I've also added position fixed let's position this correctly now for top right we'll have obviously top zero right zero for bottom left it will be bottom zero left zero for same for bottom right bottom zero right zero and for top what we'll do is we'll have to give top as zero we'll give left as 50 percent and we'll also add a transform translate x to minus 50 so left 50 percent just aligns the left edge of the element to the uh, browser's uh, viewport and the element itself will extend to the right so uh, it won't be properly centered continuing on the same for bottom and for left uh, same thing for right we'll just modify it a little and for center it will directly use translate function to uh, center it go back and see if it works and there we go uh, all the notifications has been positioned all right so that concludes the first part of the tutorial and in the upcoming parts we'll be adding the styles and the functionality needed so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next part